on my way back home. Um, Trying for a daily jog. Got some stuff done. Um, it's like probably 10 a.m. right now. Just going out for my daily jog. So uh, I'm got. I'm getting back. Yikes. Uh, if you guys can tell, I'm wearing wireless headphones because I got those for my birthday. How's that? Uh, that's a lot of construction. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, just wanted to address something very quick. I wanted to address the, uh, well, there's something that I, I currently had to go through, which wasn't really a big deal for me, but for some of my friends it was. Um, I'll go into that in a second once I get back into the building. Um, do you guys like my mask? the most colorful I have. Um, parents gave it to me. So, uh, yeah. Chose to, um, chose to wear it. Due to Pride Month. Um, wait till I get inside. Da, 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 doggo. Uh, okay. Well, I'm almost there. I'll be right back. I'm gonna pause the video so you guys don't know where I live. Um, BRB. I am back. I have arrived back home. Um, so, let me get set up really quick. Uh, like I said, I was out for a jog. Hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta pause the video again. Alright. Oh boy, man, I really I need to jog more. Um, so, what happened to one of my friends? Well, uh, one of my friends was... Uh, fired, not because of the pandemic, but because he was, uh, oh, how do you say, God, I'm sweaty, I need to take a shower after this, uh, how do you say, um, transgender, um, now, it's not just because it's transgender, it's not just, just discrimination, but... It pissed me off specifically because when he applied for the job, um, he is female. So I need to put that out right now. Genetically, he is female. Um, he actually looks very male, though. He looks very masculine, which is, you know, just how he's always been. Um, and a lot of people would, you know, consider him a guy. He's basically a trap, which I think is funny. Uh, well, a reverse trap, technically. Um, but I think it's funny that, uh, when he applied for the job, he put down that he was male. And when the company found out that he was female, genetically, um, they fired him. Because of, you know, false paperwork. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, can you do that? Because if you're asking for gender on an application or whatever your, you know, information you need from them, whatever you're having them fill out, you should not list it as gender because gender is an identity thing. However, genetic, uh, whatever you were born with is different. Like, you're not always the same. Um, and it really pissed me off. Like, I understand. Like, you gotta have the paperwork correct. But, if they are transgender, and you call that, and you, you, you don't take that into account, and you, you think that they're lying to you, and you just, you know, don't care about what they have to say afterwards, um, that's discrimination. Um, because the paperwork didn't, didn't ask for specifics, didn't ask for what were you born as, because that's a bit intrusive, first of all. Uh, second of all, like, like, who cares? Your gender shouldn't matter on how you can employ it anyways. So, either way, it was discriminatory because my friend is female by birth. Technically, he is a she. And, you know, there's a lot of sexism in the world, which is sad. I hate sexism in general. I hate feminists who think that men are inferior, and I hate men who think that women are inferior. Um, why can't we just all be equal, for crying out loud? And I hate people who are, again, I don't hate anyone. God damn it. I hate saying that I hate. I don't approve of people like that. I also don't approve of people who are against transgenders. Like, you can believe in whatever you want, but the moment you fire someone during these these hard times for that, that's when I have to draw a line, because that's just fucked up. 
people can't go out and get a new job. They can't go and, you know, apply for anything because nowhere's really hiring right now. Everywhere's all actually letting go of people. And you're firing them over that. I'm sorry, how is it okay? Like, I don't understand how the hell you can get away with this. Now, to be completely honest, my friend doesn't want me to go out with this information, so I'm not telling anyone what the company is, or who my friend is, I'm not going to explain all the details, because my friend doesn't want people to get involved. Um, but he shouldn't have to. He shouldn't have to ask me that, because in all honesty, this is fucked up. There's no denying that this shouldn't have happened. Um, that it really does piss me off quite a bit. And the sad thing is, I got this text on the on the way out on my jog, so I read it while I was jogging, well, while I was walking, I slowed down to read it. Um, and of course, I was walking right by a, a beautiful area that I, I love to jog past. I actually slowed down for that area just because it's so nice, um, which is a building that is very LGBTQ supportive. Um, it has gender symbols outside that are, well, more like sexuality, so there's, uh, a, there's gay, lesbian, uh, the gender symbols, you know what I'm talking about, I hope you guys do, and then there's, I don't really, I'm sorry, I don't know all the details, but I believe it's transgender or bisexual, I don't know which one it is, it's the, the gender symbols, so I'm going to assume it's bisexual, maybe not, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know the, I actually didn't know what the gender symbols were for the longest time, I literally just figured out that, like, the cross is, uh, a little, like, cross in the circle is, I believe, female, and the arrow is male. I hope that's correct. I only figured that out, like, this last year and a half ago, so it's like, what do you expect of me? Uh, they never taught us that in school. Um, but yeah, so they have those outside, and then they have a lot of rainbow, which I always love to see in general, because it's just very positive kind of colors. Um, they have a beautiful sign that says, every journey is individual, I believe. Maybe not. I don't remember what it says exactly. I took a picture of it today, actually. Um, and actually, on the way back home, I had to take pictures of everything, because it was so nice. Even the crosswalk to this building is rainbow. And I love it. I'll put pictures up on the screen, so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. Because it is really nice to see in, in public. Um, and not to mention the Pride Parade, because it is Pride Month. Always goes by that area. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to happen this year because of the whole uh, pandemic, but whatever. Um, long story short, uh, this whole story really pissed me off because it was like right as I was walking by that area. And I'm just like, this is, this is terrible. <sighs> I, that employer just shouldn't have done that. It really shouldn't have. Like, this hasn't really affected me. It's made me pretty pissed off, but it doesn't directly affect me. Um, but it directly affects my friend and how he's going to live for the rest of his, you know, summer, at least. Until the pandemic is over, because he can't apply anywhere. Um, and he was already working at a job that didn't really pay him much. It was, like, enough to pay for his rent and save up a bit, which, thank God, he was saving up a bit. Um, he has enough for, I believe, five months of rent, and that's it. It does not include uh, what to buy and what to... It doesn't include food and all those kind of expenses. It just includes rent and housing and all that. And it's, that's not going to get him along far. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I just wanted to address this. If you're going to fire someone over something like that, you should have specified in the documentation. Because if they identify as that gender, then um, they identify as that gender. I don't believe that is illegal, by the way. I should point that out right now. I believe that is discrimination. I believe that can actually get the company fined. Um, my friend does not want to sue them because it does cost money to sue anyone. Um, and I told him, well, do you want me to, to, to lend you the money? Because I will. I'll look into this and see if it's actually something that you can sue. And if you can sue them, then I'll give you the money for it. And you can just pay me back it's someday. Uh, he's like, nah, it's fine. I'm like, no, it's not fine. <clears throat> yeah, God. It pisses me off so much. Anyways, I'm gonna end the video and go get a shower and God, I am sweaty. Uh, it's very hot out now, so that's why I went out and jogged. Because it was like the perfect temperature to sweat. Alright everyone, bye.